Hi everyone, Claire here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are jumping into a full body Pilates class. Now there is no additional equipment needed today. All you need is a comfy mat or a soft surface and yourselves. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's get it done. So let's begin in a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you. So hands are just gonna come onto your lap and we're just gonna go for a little bit of a ripple through the spine. So gazing up to the sky and then exhale, pressing back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. One more here. And coming back to center. Let's take a breath to the top. Interlace those fingers and press the ceiling away. Releasing that. Interlace those fingers behind your back. Press the chest up. Gazing to the sky. Arms are trying to come away from the body. Releasing that. Interlacing your fingers and pressing forwards. And open. Let's go for a side bend here. And tumble over to the other side. Back to center. Interlacing your fingers behind your head and we're just going to gaze towards the chest. Tucking that chin in. Releasing that. Coming back to center. Bringing the arm over the top and going for a little stretch through the neck. And gazing down to the diag. Release that hand. Back to center. And up other side. And a soft gaze down. Release. In the middle. And back up. Beautiful. Let's come back onto all fours now and we're gonna go for a little cat cow here. So inhale, belly drops, gazing to the sky. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, down. Exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale. One more here, inhale. And exhale. Finding that neutral spine, tuck your toes and hips go high to the sky for a little downward dog position. Let's go for a pedal through those calves, one heel down at a time. For four, three, two, and one. Settling there for just a second. And coming back down to your knees. Let's send our left leg behind us and our right arm's gonna come out. We're lifting up and then tapping the ground. Just a little lift and tap. Connection to your core, belly button drawing in. Try not to sink into that shoulder there. Go for four, three, two, now keep it lifted here, little pulses up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Holding it here, we're gonna reach the arm and leg away from the body and then back to center. Away from the body, back to center. So inhale as it goes away, exhale back to center. Four more. Three, two, last one. Beautiful, bring your hand down and you're gonna plant your foot onto the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the underneath knee up into a pike. So we bring knee to chest, exhale, and back down. Lifting up and down, beautiful. Go for four, three, 
two, one. Now let's send that leg into a three-legged dog back to the sky. Now I'm gonna bring it forwards and we're gonna bring it to opposite elbow, then out to the side, back to that downward dog position. So we go opposite elbow, other elbow, and back. Beautiful, let's keep that going. Four more. Two to go. Last one. Beautiful, bring that foot down to the ground. We're gonna walk our hands back to our feet. Relaxing here for a second. Going for a spinal twist, so opening one arm up to the sky. Close the door. Opening the other side. Gorgeous, one more each side. Last one. Bend those knees, rolling up through the spine, one vertebra at a time, big shoulder roll back. Now, we're gonna go for a few squats here in a narrow stance. So as I sit back, my arms swoop over my head, inhale, exhale, squeeze to stand. Beautiful, let's keep that going. Think about knees tracking in line with those toes. So don't let those knees conk in. Four more. Two more. Last one. Now come down to the bottom, reach those arms in front, pulse down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna go for a row. And stretch, other side. Stretch. Four more for four, tummy tight. Three, two, one. Big breath to the top. And rolling down through the spine. Let's crawl back out to a plank position. Send hips high to the sky, downward dog. Breathing here. Now let's bring those knees back down to the mat. We are going to send our right leg behind us now. And we're gonna bring our left arm out now. We're gonna go for a little lift and tap. Good, don't sink into that shoulder. Four to go. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's keep it lifted. Pulse it up for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now we go away from the body. Back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your core nice and tight. Four more. Three. Two. One. Gorgeous. Bringing that hand down, tuck your back toe onto the ground. Let's go into that pike position. So lifting that underneath knee to chest and back down. Exhale, lift. And down. Four to go. Three, two, one. Now we go for that combo. So send your leg high to the sky for that three-legged dog. We bring it forward, opposite elbow, outside elbow, and stretch. Opposite, outside, and back. 
and she feel nice and warm here. Four to go. Three. Two more. Last one. Bring that foot down and let's walk our hands back to our feet. Bend those knees, rolling up through the spine. Big shoulder roll back. Now, we're gonna go for a different combo here now. We're gonna squat and what's gonna happen is our legs are gonna stretch behind us. So we'll alternate between each leg. So we'll go for a squat down, lift one leg. Squat down, lift the other leg behind you. So we're alternating here. Go four, three, two, one. Now, let's bring one leg behind us. We're gonna go for a little tap and lift. Tap and lift. Keeping my supporting leg nice and bent to help with support here. Really keeping connection to your core. Three to go. Two, one. Now, can we keep it lifted? Little pulses here for eight. Seven, hips stay pointing down. Go four, three, two, one. Bring that foot to the ground. We're gonna go, oh, find that balance. Gonna go for a little bit of a hip hinge here. So my hips are gonna go backwards and my body comes forward. And then I squeeze to stand up. Hips go backwards and squeeze. So I wanna try and feel a stretch in my supporting leg through the back of my leg and hamstring. Go for four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it here. Hold, hold, hold. For a five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, bring that leg in. We're gonna send the other leg behind us. Gonna go for that little lift and tap. Doesn't have to lift very high. We wanna really keep our high beams on so your hips are pointing straight forwards. We're not opening up to the side here. Four to go. Three, so I bend in that supporting leg. Now, can we keep it lifted? Pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, tummy tight, three, two, one. Pop it down on the ground, hips go back for that hinge. So we go backwards and squeeze to stand up. Hips back, inhale, exhale, inhale. Trying to keep my knee in line with that ankle as well. So we're not letting the knee drive forwards. Really drive the hips backwards to get that stretch through the back of the leg. Go four more. Tummies are tight, nice long spine. Two more. Now let's keep it down here. Good, hold it for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Standing up, feet come back into a parallel position. Hands are gonna come behind us now. Inhale here. As I exhale, I'm gonna tuck my chin, let my elbows drop, roll down through the spine. Come halfway down. Elbows are gonna go wide, come through a flat back to stand up. So very similar hip hinge position. But this time, both feet are planted on the ground. Diving forwards, tummy tight. Dive. Good, remember to engage your glutes to come up and feel it through the hamstrings. Hamstrings are engaging. Two 
two more like this. Last one. Okay, hips are gonna go backwards. Reach my arms overhead. Bend them back in, stand up. Hips go backwards. Stretch the arms. Bend and up. Hips back. Stretch the arms. Bend and up. Beautiful, let's keep that going. Tummies are tight. Go for a four. Three. Squeeze the back. Two more. Last one here. Oh, bring those arms beside you. Let's turn to face the front. We're gonna go for a different little combo here now. So what I want you to do is we're gonna squat down and up, step the leg out, lunge and back in. Squat down, stretch, lunge and in. Nice, bend and stretch, lunge together. Bend, stretch, lunge. Now we're staying in parallel, so that means my toes are staying pointing forwards here. I feel a stretch in that inner thigh as I come out. One more like this. Now this time we're just gonna lunge out and in, but I want you to reach opposite arm to toe, back together. Out and together. Two more. On your next one, stay out there. We're gonna reach opposite arm to opposite foot. And switch. Eight to go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back up and we'll repeat that on the other side. So we go for a little squat, stretch, step out, lunge, and in. You got that? Down and up, lunge and in. Let's keep that going. We got three more. One more here. Now let's reach that arm and continually step out. So opposite arm and up. Remember to lunge to that leg. Go for four, three, two, stay down there, opposite arm, opposite leg. Eight more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up, big shoulder roll back. Turn those toes to face outwards now. We're gonna go for some squats. So, inhale as we go down, exhale, squeeze to stand up. Let's keep that going. Think about knees tracking in line with those toes. Really squeeze your inner thighs and booty to come up. So wherever you feel that stretch, really squeeze there to come up. Four more. Three. Two. One. You know it, let's stay down the bottom, pulse it out. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, now we're gonna lift one heel and lower, other side. Tummy tight. Good, if you like, hands can come to the side. Two more. Are you ready? Tricky one, double heel raise. Up and down. Four more. Four, three. Now the extra tricky, keep it here, pulse it down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's reach for the ceiling, tap the floor. Four more. For a four, remember to squat down when you touch the floor. Two more. And one. Breath to the top. Let's get a little bit of a stretch forward fold. Toes are pointing forwards. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Bend your knees, rolling up through the spine. Big shoulder roll back. Coming to the back of your mats now. Let's roll down through the spine, one vertebra at a time. And we'll crawl out into a plank position. Let's tap one knee down and stretch. We're not here for long. Go for four, three, two, one. Okay, bring both knees down, send your hips back for a hot second rest in a child pose. Now, coming back up onto all fours, we're gonna tuck our toes and go into a little hover position. So drawing my belly button in, tuck my toes, we're gonna hover here. Now from here, we're gonna bring one knee in and tap it down, in and down. Four, three, now we're gonna add a little tricky. You ready? We go opposite hand to knee, tap it, tap it. Go for four, four, three, two, and one, knees back down. Okay, last little bit here before we go into some core. So I'm gonna send my hands wider. We're gonna go into a chest press push up. So if you like, you can be directly over in this position, or of course your harder version coming forwards here. Inhale, elbows go wide, exhale, press away. Only four more here. Three. Two. Last one. Beautiful, cross those legs, send your hips back. Bring those legs in front and we'll scooch to the top of our mats. So let's jump into some C curves, of course, my favorite. Um, to really connect to the core. So hands can be underneath your thighs or of course you can reach them long. Inhale here, exhale, draw your belly button in, curving down through the spine, halfway down, and then lift. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, lift. Exhale. So whenever I do this move, I really think about drawing that belly button in and sucking it in as hard as I can. So really activating my abdominals to get the most out of this movement. Good, let's keep that going just for a little longer. Remember to always sit nice and tall at the top Four to go. Three. Two more. And one. Come down to the back, pulse it out. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, give yourself a little rest, send those knees wide and stretch forward. Good. 
and bringing those feet back onto the ground. Coming back to that halfway point, we're gonna do a combo. So reaching arms forward, exhale, we come back. As we swoop one arm to our arms to tap to the ground, I'm gonna lift one leg to tabletop, swoop them forwards, switching sides. So swoop back, lift tabletop, and reach. Good. Let's go four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Now let's keep the leg lifted here. We'll reach the arms forward and tap. Keep it lifted. Good, four to go. Four. Three, two, one. Beautiful, bring it down, lift the other leg. Hold it here. Let's go. Eight, seven, six. Keep that going. Three more. Two, one. Beautiful, bring it down. Arms are gonna reach behind us this time. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna press through our feet to lift our hips to the sky. So we press them up and back down. Squeeze your tush, lift up high and lower. Go for four. Three, two more, one, nice. This time let's lift our hips off the ground. We're gonna go for a little tricep push up here. Elbows down and up, burning them back and up. My butt kisses the floor and stretches. Good, let's go for four, three, Two, one, nice. Let's stretch those legs long, reaching forwards. Gonna go for a nice little roll down now. So, inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, curving through the spine, one vertebra at a time, all the way down to the mat. Inhale, hands come to shoulder height. Exhale, tuck your chin, rolling up and reaching over those toes. Let's go again. Lifting to inhale. Exhale, slowly down. Hands overhead. Inhale, hands to shoulder height. Exhale, tuck your chin. Rolling up, reaching to those toes. Up and tall. Let's keep going. Try to keep your feet on the ground as you're coming up. That's a little challenging for some people. And guess what? It's totally fine that it's challenging. We're really working our core. If you want it to become more challenging, what you can do is actually slow down the movement even more. So maybe lowering the eight counts before you completely release at the bottom. This is your last one here. So we'll come up. And we'll end up on our back. Rolling all the way down. Reaching everything nice and long and away. Hands are gonna come beside you. And let's pop our feet onto the mat. Now, let's bring our legs up into a tabletop position. Thinking about keeping our lower back pressing into the ground the whole time. Now, I'm going to extend one leg to the sky. We're gonna let it drop down to the ground. We're gonna bend it back in, stretch it up, same side. So we're kind of doing a bicycle leg with that one leg. Down, exhale, bring it back in. Inhale. 
exhale in. Good, three to go. Two more. Last one. Nice. This time, let's let the leg open out to the side. Bring it back to center. Inhale as it goes to the side. Exhale back to center. Good, go for four. Keep that lower back pressing into the ground. Last one. Nice. Now we're going to go for a little alternate here. So what's going to happen is one, the leg's going to drop down to the ground. As it comes up, I tap the other foot to the ground. So we go down and tap. Down and tap. Really working the brain today. Try and coordinate that. Nice little challenge for you. Go for four. Three. Two. One. Now, bring that leg down. Arms are going to come behind you. We're going to reach across and down. Keep it hovering off the leg. Four to go. For a four. Three, two, one. Let's go for a bicycle switching each time. Go for three, two, and one. Hug those legs in for a second. My goodness. That was a fun one. Now guess what? We get to do all of that onto the other side. So, hands are beside you to start. Pressing your lower back into the ground. Let's lift both legs up into that tabletop position. Bicycling the other leg. So we stretch it to the sky. It goes down, bend it back in. Inhale. Exhale in. Inhale. Exhale in. Beautiful, keep that going. Three more. Two. And one. Sending it high to the sky, opening it to the side. Back to center. Four to go, inhale, exhale, center. Two more. One. Weird combo, so we go down and tap the foot. Down, tap the foot. Four more. My core is on fire. <laughs> Two, one. Keep it down, we crunch to that knee, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bicycle crunches for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hug it in, my goodness. Whew. Let's send those legs up to the sky. We're gonna go for a little press. So what I want you to do is try and press your legs as high as you can, maybe coming into a candlestick. From there, we're gonna slowly lower the legs down. So exhale, press them up high, and then release. Slowly down. 
press up high. Slowly down. Good, keep it going. It's an exhale as your legs press up. Two more. <laughs> Last one. Whew, I'll get in. Okay, feet are gonna come down to the mat now. Toes are gonna point out slightly. We're gonna go for some glute bridges here now. So, tucking through the spine, pressing the hips up to the sky, and then lowering back down. Exhale, press up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Good. Three. Two. One. Bring the hips up to the sky, pulse them up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now holding them here, turn your toes to face forward. We're gonna lift one leg up to the sky. We're gonna press our hips down and up. Single leg press. Go for four. Three, two, one. Now holding it here, we're gonna alternate feet and then switch sides. So we're alternating our lift between each leg. Try to keep your hips nice and stable, don't let anything rock. Go four, three, two, one, switching sides, lifting the other leg. Hips go down, press up, down and up. Go for four, three, two, one. Bring your hips down, feet are both gonna come to the mat. This time, bringing your legs close together, we're gonna come up onto our tippy toes now, pressing hips up and down. Good, we're staying, uh, keeping our toes on our tippy toes, not lowering them down just yet. Go four more, four, three, two, one. Keep it lifted here, pulse it up for eight, seven, Six, five, oh my goodness, four, three, two, one. Lower your heels and lift. Try to keep those hips lifted. Four more like this. Four, three, two. Stay lifted on your toes. Open those knees. Pulse your hips up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two final bit here, press the knees open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower your hips down. Oh, wow. Hug those knees into your chest. Okay, let's go for a little stretch now. So crossing your right leg over the top, grab behind your hamstring and bring that leg into your chest. Figure four stretch. And planting your foot on the ground, extend your top leg to the sky. Grab anywhere that feels comfortable there. Maybe a flex and point of the foot. If you like, extending your underneath leg down. Nice deep breaths here. Bringing that knee into your chest. Big inhale here. 
As you exhale, let's go for a spinal twist. Knee goes across the body, opening up through the spine, relaxing here. Coming back to center. Let's pop your right leg to the floor and cross your left leg over the top. Grabbing behind the hamstring, let's bring it in. Okay, so I'm really nice and sweaty. <laughs> I hope you are as well. That was an intense workout. Love that for us. Planting that foot on the ground, extend that leg up to the sky. Grab anywhere that feels comfortable. Maybe a flex and point of that foot if you like extending the underneath leg. Try to keep the leg as straight as you can, but you can have a slight bend if you need. Bring that knee all the way into the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, spinal twist. Opening up. Relaxing here. So good. Love this stretch. And coming back to center, hugging both knees into your chest. Circling the legs one way, reversing that the other way. Pop your feet on the ground. Send your hips to one side to push onto your side and press yourself up to a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you. Now let's finish the class right. We'll go for a side stretch one way. And tumbling over to the other side. Back to center. Let's take a deep breath to the top. Join the hands into heart center. Exhale. And you are all done. Thank you so much for joining me this week for that full body mat Pilates class. I hope you enjoyed that class as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend or family member who you think would like this workout. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as it does support my channel and I do post new workouts and videos every week. Thank you so much for coming and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.